So if you go to canva.com slash proposal slash templates, that uh, you have a lot of proposal. And I can tell you these proposal are more appealing than a standard proposal with only text. Because you will see here, oh, okay, this is personal trainer. These things, I can use them. Yeah, this picture, I can use them. Keep in mind that um, there are some proposals you need to pay for it. But um, there are also some proposals that are for free. For example, this one is for free. Think smart. If you don't have a lot of money, or if you don't have money at all, start with a free one. And you can recreate the, um, the proposal of someone. Yeah. And it's all up to you, seriously. It's all up to you. So think smart when you are sending someone a proposal created in Canva because then you have a template in Canva and then you can create it also for other companies. You just adjust the text. It's that simple. So here you see a lot of proposals for different um, company. Like I said, I'm not affiliate with Canva. You can be affiliate, but I'm not. I'm using this a lot because it makes my life easier. When something makes my life easier, I will share it with you. So I use it a lot. You can start from blank and then you can in, um, import a uh, proposal you like. So let's try it out. Um, so here, I have Canva here. And a lot of tricks that I'm going to show you guys. Because on this channel, we talk about uh, copyright and other stuff. There are websites out there that you can uh, that provide copyright free images that you can use because if i use an image from canva the chances are i need to pay for it yeah i think this one is for free so it's free to use you see you have five pages you can create five pages with this it's really easy to use seriously you can get used to this really easy but um let's say i have um this proposal I can create another page it's loading i can create another page and i can put this i can adjust the text you're good to go that's simple but let's say there's a picture in here and i don't like the picture i want to find something else in order to use it you have pixabay they provide free pic um, pictures that you can use so you can start with free and the thing is canva and pixabay they are working together so there is a way I have it here. I um, put the app Pixabay here. And the thing is, if I want to look for pictures on Pixabay, I just press here. And let's say I'm looking for music. Yeah. So I need to send a proposal to a uh, music company. So I press this here. You see, I got a picture. This is pictures from Pixabay. So you don't have to worry about copyright. It's, it's okay. I can put a picture here. Well, easy what more do you want seriously easy so you can create your own template name it and then you can print it out you can export it as a PDF and then send it to your client it's that simple visual is important but keep in mind when you create an uh, a proposal that you have a color that you keep use that you keep using every time when you send a proposal because um, it creates an um, brand identity let me give you an example let's say i create a proposal for a customer and the the, uh, the color is yellow right and the customer asked me another proposal but i sent them with another template but the template is not the same color as yellow so let's say i will remove this one and i will go here i will go to um, templates so first one, I send this one, but then the next one, I send this one, a blank one. It doesn't meet the image that you're going to show about your company or as a person. Keep in mind when you are working or when you send proposal out there, you as a person, even if you're working alone, you are a brand. Yeah, it's important how people recognize you. So try to figure out, okay, what color can, um, I'm uh, am I going to use for my brand? Just write three colors down. Try to use um, some color software to see what match with each other. You can use Adobe color or something. Just type Adobe color in Google. You can find uh, 
good color combination that you can use for your company and later you can change it but make sure you have consistency in your proposal when you send them so it looks the same so people know okay this is from you or this is from your company that's it because sometimes out there um let me give you an example like um, um this week someone had a presentation and in that presentation i could see oh this person just made the presentation five minutes there's nothing wrong with that but i could see that this person is talking about oh i have a big company i have 10 people working for me and i can see uh, uh, at the presentation already that this person is lying so we had an interview with the person and based on that i saw that so that's the thing which you need to keep in mind and you don't want to make the same as mistake as that person so we talk about um proposal what it is and uh what you need what you can put into it in order to create the best proposal platform that you can use and we also talk about the software that you can use 